this is me and welcome back to Food Battle 2021. Yes guys, it's that time of year and I'm really excited because we have a new contestant. We have Duke, so yes, it's the four horses up against each other and I've just realized that each year I've done Food Battle, there's a new horse or a new contestant. Is that a trend that I'm gonna be following into 2022? Probably, hopefully not. I think I've definitely got enough horses now. Um, but this year, because we've got a new horse, we've got four, I thought we would add another challenge to Food Battle. I also have something a little bit new as well. We have the legendary leaderboard. So let's get that up now. Welcome to the legendary leaderboard. So at the top here, we have Casper because he is currently the reigning champion of Food Battle. So he can go first in each challenge because you know he knows his way around things. Um, then we have Joey kind of going then in high order. We have Mickey and at the bottom we have Duke just because it's his first ever food battle. He can watch the others have a go first. Um, I also drew little characters next to them for fun but my drawings aren't very good. We've got a little ghost for Casper, a giraffe for Joey, uh, a licky tongue for Mickey and a little crown for Duke. Um, and then also on the legendary leaderboard we have all of the challenges. So first up we have the Brick of Wonder which is a new one. So looking forward for that. We have the Bucket of Doom. We have the Swinger of Destiny. We have the Battle Ball. And then at the end, we have the total. So we can total up all the scores and see who will be the winner. But first up, let's meet the teams. In the purple corner, we have Casper. Casper, do you reckon you have what it takes to win Food Battle again this year? Thanks for letting us know. On to the next challenger. In the green corner, we have Joey. Joey, this is only your second ever food battle. Do you think you have what it takes to win? All right, on to the next challenger. In the blue corner, we have Mickey. So Mickey, every food battle, you've really struggled with the bucket of doom. Have you been practicing on your technique? Great to hear, on to the next challenger. And lastly, in the yellow corner, we have Duke. So Duke, this is gonna be your first ever food battle. Do you think you have what it takes? Thanks for letting us know. And now we're on to the first challenge, the Brick of Wonder. Here we have the Silvermore Grass Vix, AKA the Brick of Wonder. So um, each horse is gonna have 30 seconds. Yes, 30 seconds. It is a bit of a time trial. They've got a very short amount of time to eat as much of the Brick of Wonder as possible. So I'm gonna be weighing it beforehand and weighing it afterwards. And the horse that eats the most is the winner. So first up, we have Casper, are you ready? He's uh, eating the hose pipe. That is not quite the Brick of Wonder, but I, th I think he's raring to go. Let's go. Here we have it, the Brick of Wonder. Let me know in the comments below which team you're on. Team Casper, Team Joey, Team Mickey, or Team Duke, and who you think's gonna win. First up, it's Team Casper. All right, Casper, your 30 seconds starts when your nose touches the brick. Are you ready? Yeah, okay. Let's go, the doors are opening. And he's off. <laughs> and stop the clock. The Brick of Wonder is a speed trial. I'm sorry, Casper, but you're done for now. We're gonna have to put the Brick of Wonder away and you have to go back in, back in your stable. All right, Joey, you're up next. Casper went for a sort of push technique where he grated against the ground. Are you gonna go for something similar or a bit different? We're gonna have to wait and see. Alrighty then, your 30 seconds starts when your nose touches the brick of wonder. On your marks, get set, and you are released. Okay, and go. Your 30 seconds is up, Joey. You've done a really good effort. You've got a really good corner there and you managed to keep it in one place. Very good balance and precision. Go on in. Back you go. All right, Licky Mickey, you've seen Joey's technique and you've seen Casper's. It's your turn. You're gonna lick it. You're gonna lick it, hmm? Okay. Your 30 seconds starts when your nose touches the brick of wonder. 
And he is released. Mickey, the Brick of Wonders over here. Mickey, Mickey, the Brick of Wonders here. Mickey, no, Casper doesn't want to say hi. Look, the Brick of Wonders here. Mickey, Mickey. We're off to a slow start. Good thing it starts when Mickey's nose touches it. Mickey, come here. It's your time to shine. It's time for the Brick of Wonder, okay? There we go. And start. And stop. Your time is up, Mickey, for the Brick of Wonder. Time to go back. I know, you don't want to leave it, Mickey. I know you had a slow, no, Mickey. I know you had a slow start, but it doesn't mean you can go back to it, okay? Come on in. Good thing it starts as soon as your nose touches the brick. If not, you would have really missed out there. And lastly, we have Duke up next, but he has a little bit of an advantage because this is his first ever food battle and he's a little bit smaller than the other horses. So his Brick of Wonder is also a little bit smaller as well. Let's see how he gets on. <laughs> All right, Duke, are you ready for your first ever food battle challenge? Okay, I'm gonna release you and then you can go over to the Brick of Wonder. Okay, here it is, come on. There we go, when your nose touches it, the time starts. On your marks, get set. Okay, off we go. Duke, I'll help you out. It's this, this is what you need to eat. There we go. Okay, start. Oh no, he's been distracted. Okay, Duke, <laughs> that is the time. Did you get distracted by the other horses and want to go and say hi? But it's food battle, you've got to try and eat as much as you can, okay? I know it's your first challenge, maybe the others you'll be a bit better with, okay? Yeah, good baby. Okay, off we go. Go on then. And if we look at the scores on the legendary leaderboard, at the top with five points, the current winner so far is Joey. So Joey, how do you feel about winning? <gasps> he obviously really wants to eat the microphone then. <laughs> so um, you seem quite happy about that, hmm? Yeah? Okay, um, in second place, we have Mickey with four points. In third place, we have Duke with three points. And in last place is the current reigning champion, Casper, with two points. I think, you know, the Brick of Wonder, it's a new challenge this year. I just don't think his technique was up to standards by pushing it along the ground. So that'll be interesting in the scoreboard to see what happens next with the other challenges. So, Joey, are you excited? Great to hear. Now it's on to the next challenge. Okay, guys, and welcome to the Bucket of Doom. So we have three apples in a bucket of water, or the Bucket of Doom. Um, the time starts when the horse places their nose into the bucket, and the time finishes when the horse has eaten all three apples and their mouth is empty. So first up, we have Casper. All right, Casper, you ready for the Bucket of Doom? Challenge two. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> let's go. And he's off. To the limit, I can't go no more. Red light, no way I'm coming back home. Long dirt road all on my own. I'm gonna be the great show, my name in the stone. Rub my name in the stone. Yeah, I'm coming back home. Yeah, I'm coming back home. Rub my name in the stone. Cause I'm coming back home. Cause I know my people needed me Diamond in the rough, I don't know what it is they see in me Go down as a legend in my city Oh, and that's all the apples and stop the clock Casper, that was pretty expertly done Those apples were absolutely demolished There is a lot of slobber in the bucket of doom right now We might need to change the water Because that is just absolutely grim, Casper But that was expertly done You know, you are very good at the apple bobbing You've had lots of training over the years and you know, this is your third food battle now. 
He really is an apple bobbing champion. Okay, mate, let's put you back in your stable. All right, Joey, you ready for the bucket of doom? Okay. Let's let you out. Okay, over you come. Joey, bucket of doom's over here. Come on, Joey, here, here, here. Okay, and go. Push it to the limit, I can't go no more. Red light, no way, I'm coming back home. Long dirt road all on my own. I'ma be the greatest, draw my name in the stone. Draw my name in the stone. Yeah, I'm coming back home. Yeah, I'm coming back home. Draw my name in the stone. Cause I'm coming back home. I mean, there's a little bit of apple skin left in there. I don't know if we're going to count that. I'll have to check with the judges, but I'm going to stop the clock there. Well done, Joey. Oh, my goodness. Look at your mouth. Look at all those little bits of apple skin and oh, goodness knows what. Okay. Go on then, Joey. You're done now. Okay. You want to eat all the little bits? <laughs> there's lots of little bits left in there. We might have to like add five seconds to the time for that. Okay. Back we go. Next up, we have Mickey. Now, Mickey's technique, the previous years for the Bucket of Doom, hasn't been the best, has it, Mickey? He usually tries to drink all of the water, and then once he's drunk the water, have the apples at the bottom. So Mickey is now 22. He is definitely a senior horse, um, and he's a bit smaller than the others. So this year, Mickey is getting a little bit of an advantage because he has a smaller bucket. So let's see how Mickey gets on with the Bucket of Doom. <laughs> Okay, you've got to go to the bucket of doom. The bucket of doom, this one. Okay, and go. Push it to the limit, I can't go no more. Red light, no way, I'm coming back home. Long dirt road all on my own. I'ma be the greatest, run my name in the stone. Run my name in the stone. Yeah, I'm coming back home. Yeah, I'm coming back Guys, he's gone back to his old ways. He's just drinking the water. I mean, he's been into half an apple and have eaten that. But, oh, Mickey, you're going to be here a while. Mix, come on, you can do the bucket of doom. You can do this, Mix. We've, you've got it. Let's go, boy. Yeah, he's got an apple. Let's go, Mickey. I mean, you've got the other half that you've already chewed, but he's got half an apple, guys. Luckily, my horses are really used to have like apple bobbing. We do it all the time, especially in the summer to make them drink, and in the winter as well to make them drink as well. Because sometimes horses are just like that. They go, nope. I'm not going to drink anymore. So um, they're pros at this, and they're very good. They know to bite the apple in half so they don't choke. Oh, just as I say that, Mickey is spewing water absolutely everywhere. But we're always here to supervise you with the bucket of doom and the apples, aren't we? Oh my goodness. I've never seen a horse produce so much saliva in my life. If you're eating while watching this video, I do apologise because Mickey doesn't have very good table manners, I can tell you that now. <coughs> Alright, Mickey, do you have an empty mouth? I mean, you're still drinking the water. Okay, I'm going to stop the clock. Well done, Mix. That last half of apple, you really were proper slobbery for that one. Hey, okay. well done. Good man. What do you want to say? Actually, you don't want to get too close to the microphone. Now, if you thought the buckets couldn't get any smaller, we have an absolutely tiny one here for Duke because, you know, it's his first ever food battle. He's a lot smaller than the other horses. And also, you know, he's young. He's only one and a few months old. So um, we're going to give him a bit of an advantage. Um, also, the apple I'm using is a very tiny apple that's cut up into sixths. So he has three of these pieces that are absolutely tiddly just to make sure that he doesn't choke on them. All the other horses are totally fine and the horses in the wild would eat a whole apple. Our horses are used to them, obviously. Duke isn't, so we want to make it a good experience and one that he can actually do and um, not be a choking hazard. And obviously we're here to um, supervise and things, but Duke, are you ready? He's looking at me. I think he's ready for the bucket of doom. All right, Duke, are you ready? Here are the apple pieces, and go. Oh, you're okay. You're okay. I know you've drunk the, almost all the water. Do you want me to help you out? Give you a bit of an advantage. There we go. Good boy. There we go, that's how you do it. Do you like the apple? Yeah, there we go. Can you see the other pieces? We're cheering you on, Duke. You can do it. There we go. Oh, well done. That's lots of water you've drunk there. A few 
There we go. If you push it up against the wall, you can get it. Oh, you got it! You got it out! It's here! It's here! You got it out by yourself! Well done! Can you eat it? Oh, you want to go for the other one? Okay. He's like, I just want to drink the water and fish it out. Oh! Thank you, Duke. That's all over my arm. Do you want the apple? You want it? Or do you not like apple? Maybe apple isn't for Duke. I mean, I did feed him a tiny little piece before we did the Bucket of Doom, just to make sure that, you know, he liked it and things. But, um, I think that might be a little bit of a disqualification there, Duke. I'm sorry, but you didn't complete the challenge. No, <laughs> you're drinking your other water. So Casper won the last challenge with five points, Joey with four, Mickey with three, and although Duke didn't really finish the Bucket of Doom challenge, he gets one point for effort because he had a really good try and he did fish one out on his own. So anyway, now it's on to the Swinger of Destiny. Casper, are you excited? Are you happy to be top of the leaderboard or top of the last challenge? Great to hear, let's go. All right, Casper, when you're ready, on your marks, get set, go. Casper, that is the swinger of destiny complete. How do you think you went? Good to hear, good to hear. Now on to Joey. Okay, you've had enough now. No more, no more Caspi. No more, no, no, you've had your turn. Okay, cut. Okay, Joey, in three, two, one, go. Today you have done a very good effort and I think you've got a bit of swinger on your head collar. Okay, Joey, stop! Stop! Stop the clock! Okay. I think Joey's won that! Ah. I think Joey's won that one. I'm absolutely covered in swinger now. Yes! Your turn, Mickey! Alright, it's Mickey's turn. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> These are. boy that was really good apart from when he wandered off and he's got a big chunk on the floor that he's absolutely devouring right now oh my goodness well done mickey not too bad not too bad better better than the apple bobbing and here we have duke's swinger of destiny now this one is a little bit smaller we've done a bit of a diy so um don't worry we are going to be um with him the whole time he's doing this because you know it's it's not quite up to the silver more standards i've got to say but um it's smaller for him so hopefully it's a little bit easier for him to get his mouth around so yeah let's see duke in action and see what he thinks there we go you gotta eat it come on let me show you let me show you put your put your mouth around it and you eat the little bits of grass yeah 
Oh. I was trying to hold it in place for him. And then he moved so... This has gone off to a great start. I'm very sorry, Duke, but you're gonna have to have a bit of this. Come on, you can eat it. <laughs> it's all very new to him, food battle, and that's okay. Look, there we go. You go have a little, little try. No, don't go over to Casper. I don't think Casper wants to say hello. <laughs> oh, okay. Bye, Duke. No. I'm sorry, Duke, but that was a poor show. Poor effort. Oh, he's going and eating. <laughs> Duke, are you eating the other swinger that's on the ground? That's the wrong one. I mean, he's up for it. He's given it a try, but that's the wrong one. No, you're not going in the feed room. Back, back, back. Dukes don't belong in here. No, sorry. Little guy. Okay. Well, I think that's the swinger of destiny complete. Yeah, no one's not yours. No. That's the broken one. Okay. He's enjoying the broken one. <coughs> Welcome back to the legendary leaderboard for the swinger of destiny. In top spot, we have Joey with five points. Casper with four points, Mickey with three points, and Duke with one. If Duke had completed it, he would have got two points, um, but he didn't quite. But he's got that one point for effort. His heart was in the right place, just maybe not the right swinger. Um, so, Joey, you did a really good job. You've even got a bit of swinger on your head collar there. How do you think it went? Great to hear. And lastly, we have the battle ball. First up, it's Casper. Stop the clock. That is your 60 seconds up, Casper. I think he struggled a little bit at the start to actually roll it so the hole is at the bottom so he could get the food out, but well done. Good effort, Casper. Let's put you back in. Next up, it's Joey. Are you ready, boy? I think he is. Stop the clock. Well done, Joey. That's enough of the battle ball. That's enough of the battle ball. <laughs> Time to put you away. And next up, we have Mickey. Mickey, you absolutely love the battle ball, don't you? Are you excited? You are literally just licking me. Okay. <laughs> On to the battle ball. Okay. Release the horse. Go back to the battle ball. Mickey, that's the camera! Mickey, that is the camera. Battle ball. Battle ball. Stop the clock. Well done, Mickey. That was awesome. Up next, we have Duke, and I don't think he's ever seen a battle ball before in his life, so he might need a little bit of assistance, but best of luck, Duke. Give it your all. Okay, let's go. All right, Duke, three, two, one, and stop the clock. I'm gonna take the battle ball away. You can finish that off. Well done, boy. 
and the scores are in. In the battle ball, we have Mickey in first place with five points. We have Joey with four, Casper with three, and Duke with two, because I feel like he tried extra hard with the battle ball and did such a good job. Um, but anyway, guys, if we look at the totals, this year we have a new champion. We have Joey, so well done, Joey, in first place. He's just gone for a wee. Don't worry, he will be collecting his prize later. Um, in second place, we have Mickey. So Mickey, well done. He really stepped up this year. He did really, really well. And then um, we have Casper in third place, maybe. But luck next time, Casper. I mean, he has won it two years in a row. Maybe this year it's time for somebody else to win. And in last place, we have Duke. He, you know, it's his first ever food battle. He's like one in a few months years old, you know, it's it's all new to him. Life is new to him, food battles new to him and maybe after a year of training next year, you never know, he might be the winner. But anyway guys, I'd like to say a huge thank you for watching today's video. If you're new or have not done so already, please like and subscribe because it really does help me out and I really do appreciate it and I'll see you all next time. Bye! So Casper, are you excited for today? Thank you for letting us now. <laughs> now no. In the purple corner, we have Casper. Oh. ...to see what happens next. Casper, I think his technique just wasn't quite up to standards when, you know, dragging the brick along the ground. But so far, is Joey. So Joey, how do you feel about winning? We have Casper with five points. Then we have Joey with four points. Mickey with three points. And then although Duke didn't really finish his challenge, he gets one point for effort because he had a really good try. So Casper here, I know you're very excited because he is top of the leaderboard. No, he's not top of the leaderboard. He's top for the second... After the second challenge, let's have a look at the lead. After the second... Casper! I'm going to have to hold it here so you don't eat it. That is not a challenge for Foo Battle. It's not to eat the legendary leaderboard, okay? And we are back with the legendary leaderboard. In the top, in top spot for the Swinger of Destiny, we have Joey with five points. We have Duke over here. Hello. Duke, he, he's got one point. 